These lanterns of today, my computer illuminates new archetypes of desire. My name is Gary Carsley and I'm fortunate enough to live and work on Wiradjuri country. And I'm very grateful to be made to feel welcome on Gadigal land. My name is Justin Tomplacido Shoulder. Uh, also live and work on Gadigal country and I'm very grateful to be here. Can you remember how we met? I don't know if it was the exact meeting, but I have visions of you in your uh, a wide brim hat, cycling down Crown Street, uh, wearing the oil skin jacket. It was a grey one. With yes. A, it's more a kind of Sherlock Holmes yes. thing with a cape, pup cape and mm. coat. I met you when I was coordinating the honours program. Yes. Your honours paper was a calendar. Oh my gosh, yes, that's a right. Blow up, a blow-up, a calendar of yourself. Yes. In which you had masses of hair um, perhaps someone else's. It was about a challenge to frameworks of masculinity. Mm -hmm. How do your ideas come about and how do you um, go from the seed of an idea and start making? I try to look for resonance in the juxtaposition of things that happen to share characteristics. I like homophones. Oh yes. I like the idea that we could speak entirely in things um, where the written and oral form are, are different so that you have that slippage between two things. Working with a logic that's queer but that queerness is not embedded in its sexualization but rather in acts of disobedience. Not squeaking or shrieking but saying out loud how proud we can be when finally set free of the constraints and complaints and the worship of saints. The glue gun's very important to you. Yes. And the way in which things are put together. You know, a lot of the early costumes were very, uh, you know, of scale, all encompassing, but also quite painful. Um, very scratchy, mm. simple things like don't cut off cable ties because they'll, they'll scratch your skin. For the current exhibition, Absolutely Queer at the Powerhouse, um, there's a particular figure called Lolo Ex Machina. Yeah. Uh, Lolo is uh, grandfather in Tagalog, uh -huh. um, so it's like the grandfather in the machine. Yeah. My Lolo was a jeepney driver in Manila and I actually have no uh, photographic documentation of him. So I mm. have no idea what he looks like. And part of my curiosity to speak to him was to create a figure that was a kind of jeepney spirit. It's a, a costume made of um, mostly found objects, uh, very assemblage in the same way that the jeepney as a kind of reconfiguration of a military vehicle. I also use mm. masks, but yes. in a different way. Um, and I think that masks are often thought of as concealing, mm -hmm. whereas we use them to reveal no, rather totally. than... So not to hide, but to show. I really like the way performance produces ephemeral community. Being together is again a step back from the self a little bit. A little bit of the dissolution of the self is necessary to enable us to be together. It feels like in opposition to the kind of capitalist yeah. um, focus on the individual. And I think that's really the understanding you're one part of, of a community, of an ecology, of a planet is yeah. very grounding and it, it can kind of help you. I feel like it's a very indigenous mode of understanding that yeah. your actions have ripple effects.